So you are asked to graph two equations, one in standard form and one in slope-intercept form. So let's take a look at the slope-intercept form as a nice little review. And I'm going to try to color code this uh, red for this uh, equation, blue for the other. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take the y-intercept, which clearly is the number that is not being multiplied by the independent variable x. So my y-intercept is 5, so I'm going to go up 5 on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put a dot. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the what I know about slope. Now slope is equal to rise over run, and in this case my rise is 1, my run is 2, and I see this pesky negative, which means I'm going to be moving down one space and then to the right, two spaces. So down one, to the right two, and put a dot. Down one, right two. And I will continue that pattern until I have dots that go all the way across the page. And then I'll connect all the dots. Casually connect the dots. Now for my second equation, it's a little trickier because we're in standard form. Now, I could make an xy table. That's one thing that I could do. And I could plug in values for x and find out what y, what y is equal to. But it might just be uh, equally fun, if not more fun, to turn this into uh, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and uh, graph it using the slope and the y-intercept. Sounds like a great idea. So um, I can't help but notice this y is negative, so I'm going to add y to both sides. Sure, why not? So I get 3x is equal to 2 plus y. Now I can subtract 2, subtract 2. I get 3x minus 2 is equal to y. All right, so what's my y-intercept? Well, my y-intercept is negative 2. My slope is 3, so that's up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. Three. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. The lines cross. No way. And they cross right here. I, I wonder if there's an easier way to figure this out. What do you think? Yeah, there's an easier way? Okay. What, what, what do you do? How do you find where these lines cross without having to graph both of them? Well, okay, yes, I know it's easy but using the graph, but what happens if the numbers are much larger or they're fractions? And uh, I don't want to deal with it that way, with uh, trying to estimate where lines intersect if they don't like, intersect right at a specific grid point. Oh, wait, wait, so, oh, I need the y equals, okay, so that was y equals, what? 3x minus two. So at this point, you're saying that at this point, they have the same y value, so y equals y at this point? Oh, okay. So, so, so that means that this y and this y, they, they have to be equal, don't they? So in that case, what does this y right here equal? Well, this y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 5. All right, well, what does this y equal? Well, that y is equal to 3x minus 2. All right, well, this is just another train track problem, isn't it? OK. So uh, well, let's, uh, let's move this 5, right? So oh no, I better yet, let's move this 2. So let's add 2, add 2. So I get negative 1 half x plus 7 is equal to 3x, okay? Well, all right, so what's the opposite of subtracting uh, 1 half x? Well, adding 1 half x. So that leaves me with 7 is equal to 3x plus a half of an x. Now, obviously, I have 3.5x, right? Okay, so sure, 3.5x or 3.5x is equal to 7. 
All right, well, what's the opposite of multiplying x by 3.5? Dividing by 3.5. And so that leaves rule 7 divided by 3.5 is just 2. So that means x is equal to 2. Well, if x is equal to 2, what's y equal to? Well, then all I have to do is plug this in right here. So I can find out what, what y is equal to. And now I bet you're saying that this wasn't faster before, aren't you? Well, yes, this, this one didn't end up being faster, but it will eventually. So we have 3 times our x of 2. And notice how x is 1, x is 2 right along this line, all right? So 3 times 2 minus 2, well, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. So my y value is 4. 1, 2, 3, look at that. So these lines intersect at 2, comma 4. And I could graph it, which is really nice when the, the numbers are small and easy, or I could have used the equation, what I know about solving linear equations, train tracks, to find the exact point where the, the two lines intersect. That is so cool!